Hello, this is Ray at Drop of Golden Tarot. <clears throat> I got a package in the mail today. This has come from the UK. It actually shipped a lot faster than I was expecting it to, so let's open it up and see what we have here. I am really excited about this. I saw it posted on one of my Facebook groups that I belong to uh, that's tarot related. And when it was mentioned and I found out it was shipping from the UK, I thought, ooh, I was not gonna be able to afford to, to do that. But the shipping cost was very reasonable. It was, uh, I believe, $5 US. So, the Woven Wisdom Oracle. That is what we're opening tonight and looking at for the very first time. And so, oh, I've got a dent, a dent in the box there. Let's hope that that um, absorbed the problem and I won't have any further issues inside. Scissors would slide right in there, but it doesn't quite. Nice tight fit there. Okay. Oh, okay. So they've got some styrofoam all around the edges um, packed in there so to help protect these cards. And we're come in a nice uh, velvet drawstring bag, like a velveteen bag. So I'm just gonna move that box off to the side. So get that rid of that. So let's just look in here and see. The Woven Wisdom Oracle, and I can't tell if I'm getting a glare on that, I think I am. So, I'll try to kind of hold these at an angle and see if I can avoid the glare. So it comes in a tuck box. Begin, <laughs> it says begin on the top of that tuck box. So that's where we're gonna, gonna start there, open that up. Let's see what we have here. The Woven Wisdom Oracle, Guide in Spiritual Interpretation by Siren, illustrated by Steve Samsara. So we have a little fold out book telling us about our Woven Wisdom Oracle deck and getting started. Steps for those who have never, or the for those newer to cardomancy. Um, the creators, a couple of spreads, really not much about the individual cards. So let's, let's see if there's something, I don't know, let's see another booklet or anything. Okay, so just up. Uh, actually says the woven wisdom on the card back. So not um, super shiny or super glossy. I'm hoping that we're not getting any kind of a, I'm not seeing a shine here or a reflection. So hopefully nothing on the camera. Um, this is broken up into some suits. Uh, let's see. What makes a Woven Wisdom different from other Oracle decks? This 50 card core deck is divided into five unique suits to reflect upon the Pantheon suit, which are gods, goddesses, and spiritual figureheads. 
the forest suit, which are fantasy elements, the fables suit, fairy tales, and the autumn suit, crones, and the shadow suit for deeper meanings. Deeper meaning for the cards and message boards to compare with other card readers. Oh, so they give um, their website where you can go and get deeper, deeper meanings for the cards there. So let's, um, I think maybe I'm going backwards. Maybe I should start with the god goddesses. And so the front of these cards are more glossy than the backs were. Let's see if I can get that shine off there. Hectate, guidance through darkness, torch bearer and service. Lilith, sovereignty and independence, misgivings, defiance of authority. <laughs> That's perfect for Lilith. Am I in frame? I hope so. Oh, I have a glare. There. So I'm just going to do, I don't want to read each card. I think you can go to their website and look at each image and each card. They do look like, I don't know, pencil drawings. Some of them do, and then others have this beautiful color. I can't quite, can't quite tell there, Freya. Oh, look at that Medusa. So some of these I don't know much about. So then this is, okay. So that was the god goddess suit, the Panthenons. So this is a forest suit with fantasy elements. Oh, that card is bent. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? Is that showing up on camera? It's got a it's got a crinkle and a bend in it right there. Well, that's too bad. I'm not it must have hit against the I wonder if that's the only one. That one looks okay. The scared scientists. These drawings are are lovely. Very detailed. Twin intention. Now the next suit we're on to is Fables. Ooh, can you see that? I hope that's showing up the details on that fallen angel. Dark circles under her eyes. She hasn't been able to sleep for a while. Fables. Oh, okay. Magic mirror. We can see some of this. We got Rapunzel, the tower escape. Oh, here we go, going up that tower.
don't know what fables these are really. All of these are from, I'll have to get on the website and read a little bit more about it. So each suit has a different color border. Gosh, but the colors on this, I would think it's autumn, the autumn suit. Yes, the autumn suit. Oh, now there is a cute little house. So this will be the last one, which is the shadow suit. I wonder if they're all gonna be, oh, I got two there. They're all gonna be skeletons. <laughs> Meditation. I do kind of wish that the fronts were the same finish as the backs, so they didn't have that glare. On camera. When I went to the website to buy these. I don't don't remember seeing the backs with the words on them. Um, if that was a tarot deck, it would probably drive me crazy. But I'm, I think I can live with that with an oracle deck. Feels like there's two sticking, but nope, that's the last one, Devotion. So, so they're all in good shape except for that one. Can we, can we do this? Can we see that? Yeah, I can kind of see how that pushes the other cards for, forward on that one. Kind of see where that's at. Um, let's see how they shuffle. bend there but this was this was a a fairly inexpensive deck as far as decks go uh, especially for one that's not a mass market that's independently produced we'll see how well it holds up over time I'm a little worried about that crease in the one card just coming to me Kind of see where that card is no matter where it is in the deck you're gonna know that's the one uh, got a jumper already we're gonna throw that back in though oh, wow they just Kind of big for my hands, not too big. Um, compared size-wise to, let me see, what do I have here on my table with me? Let's see, I have, let's see, I have the borderless deviant moon with me. So size comparison, they're the same height as that borderless deviant moon but a little bit wider. Um, 
the Deviant Moon has kind of a plasticky feel over it. So though it's flexible, it kind of feels like it's gonna hold up over time. I don't quite get that feel with these. Uh, we'll see. So I'm just gonna shuffle and we'll pull a card and see what impressions we get since we don't really have a guidebook. I don't think I have, I don't have my computer with me to look anything up. I could maybe go grab it and get on the website and get the deeper meaning. For just one card. Hmm. Let's take this one. Put this over. Let's see what we get here. The Wayward Guide. Shifting goals drop assumptions and explorations. The wayward guide. So just looking at this card, see the hairless cat and he does look like he's tattooed. Um, his eyes are clouded like they don't need to see the real world. They're seeing the cosmic universe, the bigger picture, the things that are unseen to human eyes. He's got a collar on, which is kind of a choice. Makes me think that, that there is a, not the independence I would think of, that he actually does belong somewhere to some higher power or with some person or with some priestess or divinity and that he is maybe the mouthpiece or the, well, it says guide. So the guide that shows you what that spirit wants you to know that he doesn't actually act independently, but shows you the things that that spirit wants you to know. But the wayward guide, hmm, maybe that's a reluctant position. But shifting goals drop assumptions and exploration. Maybe not trusting yourself in your own eyes. We have that cloudiness that we see in the eyes. So maybe trusting your intuition more when things are changing in your life and you're not exactly sure where to go to, exploring all your options rather than thinking that you know exactly where you need to go and what needs to happen, but maybe taking a step back. This card is telling us to take a step back and to look inward and to not assume things about the situation or the people around us, but to really take a look and explore all the different possibilities so that we are able to focus on just one thing. So the wayward guide from the Woven Wisdom Oracle. And I will work with that. That's, this will actually be a good um, autumn, fall deck, the colors in it. Good one to work with through the fall and wintry season so we'll see what I pair that with and draw a card and get online do some journaling and some introspection so this has been Ray at Drop of Golden Tarot unboxing and first impressions of the Wiz Woven Wisdom Oracle And we'll see you next time. Thanks for being here. Stay safe and have a good night.